Nerdery, where today I am playing the Gecko Kujo mod for Mountain Blade Warband. I had originally planned on posting videos showing the basics of combat in Mountain Blade, but I figured I would just wing it because I couldn't quite get them to work right. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play this mod and we're going to enjoy ourselves. Um, as you might be able to tell, this is a mod based on Sengoku Era Japan, as you may remember me mentioning from the uh, intro video for Mountain Blade Warband. Um, you might be a little confused, by the way, that in the fact that I'm not starting with native gameplay, as in the base game native. That's the that's what the module's called, because this game runs on... It's pretty good when it comes to uh, having separate modules for playing different mods and so forth. At any rate... Uh, you may be surprised I'm not playing the native module for, um, for Warband, uh, for just starting off in single player, but I did not because the base game is excruciatingly boring. The factions feel all generic, the land feels generic, the... the AI just isn't terribly good. Um, you know, generally speaking, essentially, the single player, single player experience is rather dull, actually, especially after you've played a few, um, Especially after you've played a few, uh, mods, uh, it, you know, it's like you'll never go back simply because the mods are always, always, always going to be more interesting. Now, my plans for Gecko Koju, actually, is only to have maybe three to five videos of it. Um, not ah, good, this video, sc this screen finally came up. Let's have three to five videos of Gecko Koju. Um, Kujo, Kujo, bloody hell. <laughs> um... And essentially, it's just to showcase some of the basics of uh, the basics of the single-player game, show off some of the basics of combat, etc. Um, there's going to be some things different, and you'll see those differences when I play other mods. But for the, in the meantime, though, we're going to um, play Gecko Kujo, and we're going to see we're going to see just what Mountain Blade is like and what it's capable of, because there's a lot of differences in the mod compared to the base game. Not as many as I like, but. Again, that's because the mod's still in development, and hopefully the creator is, uh, the creators, uh, I think so more than one, I can't remember. Um, you know, it's hard at work making it so that there's more maps and so forth. Anyway, welcome, ben adventurer, to Gekko Kujo. Before beginning the game, you must recreate your character. Remember that in the Sengoku era, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of this nobility. That does not mean that you should not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all the same goals, and in fact may have much more interesting and more challenging part of the game. Continue. For the record, that prompt is going to appear in variations in every mod we play, so... Sorry, a bit of a jump cut there. I was just checking the quality of my video. Um, had to but I wanted to, I had to stop it first so that the video would actually play back. Anyway, so we're going to play a female character. And the society of Sengoku Japan depicted in the game, war and politics were usually... Wait, we already got this. Um, because of this, a female character can face initial prejudice, and some opportunities open to men will not be available, although a woman will also have some opportunities to a man, that, uh, opportunities a man will not. For example, the ability to marry lords. Um, some, players might find this, find, some players might find this distasteful, so if you want to, one, you can ignore that aspect of society in medieval Japan. You can later change your mind through the options of the campaign menu. I do not mind encountering sexism at all. Alright. You were born years ago, in the land of the rising sun. Your father was... Uh... Hmm... Powerless Kuge noble. This will give me, uh, this will make me automatically a noble in the eyes of everyone in the uh, land. A G samurai, okay. A traveling merchant. An Ashigaru. A hunter. A thief. We're gonna go with... I think we're going to go with a more straightforward warrior route, so we're going to go with the G Samurai, because essentially each of the options I choose here will um, dictate my starting stats. Um, there are some mods that make it a little clearer what stats are affected by what, but most don't because that's how the base game is. You are a child of a minor samurai family with no claims, real or faked, of descent from the noble Minamoto or Taira clan, nor any large land, land holdings or great offices like a rank in the imperial court. But they taught you how to fight with a sword almost before you learned how to walk. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk, walk and talk. You spent your early life as a daimyo's apprentice, a craftsman's apprentice, a, sh as a shop assistant, rather, a street urchin, a mountain child. Um, you spent it as a craftsman's apprentice. As a girl growing up, a child, you apprenticed with a local craftsman to learn a trade. After years of hard work and studying under your master, you promoted you journeyman and employed you as a fully paid craftsman for as long as you wished to stay. 
Then as a young adult, life changes always does. You became a lady in waiting in Kyoto, a Biwa Hoshi traveling musician, musician, a monk at a Buddhist temple, a traveling goods peddler, a smith in a castle town, a game poacher in the mountains. Uh, we're going to go with a lady in waiting in Kyoto. Though the distinction fell sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a woman, and the whole world seemed to change around you. You joined the tightly knit circle of women at the Imperial Court, ladies who did all did proper ladylike things, the wives and mistresses of noblemen as well as maidens who had yet to find a husband. However, even here you found politics at work as the ladies schemed for prominence and phoned each other bitterly to catch the eye of whatever unmarried man was in fashion at the court. You soon learned ways of turning these situations and going on to your advantage. But they came to the realization that you could... For you yourself could wield great influence in the world, if only you applied yourself with a bit of subtlety. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was personal revenge, the loss of a loved one, the loss of a loved one, wanderlust, being forced out of your home, lust for money and power. We're gonna go with personal revenge. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it was not a difficult choice to leave, with the burning rage, bur rage burning brightly in your heart. You wanted vengeance. You wanted justice. What was done to you cannot be undone, and these debts can only be paid in blood. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Alright, so, uh, so basically this game has two modes of saving. Realistic, you can't quit without saving. It's just, you know, important, pretty much a hardcore mode, and it's mode, I think it's pretty much the way to play the game. However, um... In general, I'm not going to play any Warband mod with, uh, with, um, auto-saving, because there are going to be times when I'm going to want to show off elements of mods, or do things in mods I've never done before, and to see things, and I can't do that with auto-saving, because I'll just screw myself over. So I'm going to do it, so I'm going to do this with, um, with save games, and, you know, I'm going to do this with, uh, manually saving, manual saving, and, you know, it, it, may, it may, may, may detract from the experience somewhat, but I think it's going to be fine as well, because, you know, I, th I think we want to see a little, I think we want to see more than, um, than being weak otherwise would allow. Okay, so what we have here is our character screen. I just clicked a few things. Leadership and inventory management. Um, these, essentially, your attributes or skills, these are all kind of your traditional, um, all your traditional, um, what's the word? Brain farting. Farting brain... Um, you know, a traditional RPG stats screen, essentially. Um, a strength, a strength affects your the damage you do and the amount of health you have. Um, well, actually, a strength doesn't affect the damage you do, actually, if I recall correctly. Strength more affects um, your ability to improve the damage you do, but it's not. Just slap my 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 speaker just now. Um, you know, but it'll affect your ability to do certain things like. For example, the power striker, the power throw, the power draw, all have a requirement of space attribute of strength, so you can only increase your level, I increased here to 3 for example, you can only increase the level of each skill according to, um, according to, um, you know, according to one third of your attribute score, so. If I increase my agility to 9, my intelligence to 9, uh, my charisma to seven. Charisma to seven obviously doesn't affect anything right now. But um, you know, I can increase my inventory management by another one. My inventory management increases the number of slots I have in my inventory. You'll see that in a moment. Power draw increases my ability to in improves my ability to use bows. Um, it increases their damage and allows you to use more powerful bows because all bows have a power draw requirement except for the weakest. Um, it increases weapon master, which increases my skill proficiencies on the side here. Um, so I got archery, just bump that up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna bump up, I think... I was polearms, two-handed weapons. Unfortunately, I have to fill this out now, um, up to up until I only have like five points left, and it's somewhat annoying. So we're gonna do polearms and two-handed weapons, because we're at the very beginning here, so wasting a few points isn't gonna kill me. Actually, wasting a few points really isn't gonna kill me in general. Um, you gain, I, I found in general that you gain experience, um, proficient, proficiency, um, quick enough as it is. Okay. Alright, now let's make our Japanese Lysha. Ed, sorry, that's a base face. I think that's black. Uh, something. You know, sort of brown-skinned, you know. And you have your three white people, and... Then you have, uh, the four Japanese skins added to, uh... First, we're gonna randomize a bit. Um, I guess gonna put... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna find a nice face face arrangement. I'm gonna alter it slightly, probably, maybe. 
Um, actually, you know, this, this, this looks fine, actually, I guess. Eh, if eyes are a little wide set, it's a little bothersome, okay? <laughs> there we go. Because, <laughs> you know, it's a... Uh, just, just think, just... What, look at that. Look, look at that, you know? I mean, do, do you really... Look? <laughs> yeah, we want the eyes set a little closer together. Oh, I didn't realize I could zoom. Okay. I, I guess I usually just scroll around. Uh, anyway. Okay, we'll do the eyes a little closer together. Widen them a bit, though. Um, and we're gonna do hair. Oop, bald. These are the base game hairs. Um, not particularly interesting. These are added to Gekko, Ku Gekko Kujo, though. Um, this with the bangs, and this with the bangs, and this with the bangs, and this not with the bangs. And then both. Um, we're gonna do... We're gonna use this one... No. We'll do that one, I think. Hair color. It goes from... Black to very black. We're gonna go with very black. Then we can also change our age if we wanted to, but, uh... No, we're gonna, we're gonna have a young woman because, uh... You know. Alright, done. You hear about Japan, a land torn between rival daimyo, blad, bad, battling, battling each other for suprem... for supre, supre, Stop it. For supremacy, a haven for samurai and ronin, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. And this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe that you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You'll feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that with that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Japan and its provinces, you join a caravan to Yamada, the domains of the Oda clan. Join a caravan to Kanazawa, the peasant-ruled Kagaiki. Join a caravan to Niigata, to the domain of the Uesugi clan. Uesugi clan, excuse me. Take a, sh take a ship to Ido, the domains of the Hojo clan. Take a ship to Sakai, the domains of the Miyoshi clan. Take a ship to Akata, the domains of the Otomo clan. Otomo, Otomo, yes. Um... So, we're just going to, uh, pick one at random. Uh... I missed. Maybe I shouldn't close my eyes. We're going to go to the lands of the... We're gonna go to the Oda clan lands. You do the Holy Yamada, uh, Holy Yamada in, in, in Issei province, home of the Issei Jingu Grand Shine, Shrine Complex. You are exhausted by the time you find, find the inn in Yamada and fall asleep quickly. However, you wake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are all still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Oh, great, I only have a Tonto. Well, this should be interesting, and I can't block with it either. Bandit! Oh god, he has a giant katana! Die! Oh! Oh. Aha! Chamber block! I'll explain what that was in a second. Aha, katana, I'm not gonna get to keep this, sadly. Takichi the Merchant. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we could stay the, say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night, although the gods know he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally, convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. By the way, this, um, this pattern of finding a bit of all that text and everything, I'm not gonna read it every time, because it repeats itself, um, in pretty much every mod, unless the mod maker has made, made, uh, taken the time and effort to change the, the beginning scripting. Also, music. Okay. Takichi the merchant. Okay. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven by, to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers, fewer men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that the bands have an ally inside the walls who helps them enter unnoticed, and helps them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my butter. My butter. My butter! They took my butter! They took my brother, Gengoro. I don't know what Gengoro was thinking, a lad from a prominent house out alone after dark and times like these. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here and didn't know how bad things had become. He had no such excuse, but his family, so what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either, and I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with a blade, and more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly, or you wouldn't be coming to Japan to seek your fortune. Or I'm just insane. So here's what I'm asking you to do. 
Gather a small party. Track down these bandits to their lair. Teach them a lesson. They won't forget and get Gengoro back safe. In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. I was about to say, I hope you're offering silver here too, because your lasting gratitude's not going to get me too far around here. What do you say? I'm interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become a hunted, I I'll warrant. You're first, you'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work. That's more interesting than tilling soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay, so take this purse of 100 mon. Consider it in advance to earn your reward. Go round to the villages and use the money to hire some help. I'll reckon that you need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir. I'll go collect some men from around the villages. Good! You can find me again in the tavern here in Yamada after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what we do next. Okay. Now I just hit the t now I just hit tab to lead to the world map. Um that's all just basic tutorial stuff. Um it tells me that I can check my quest log, collect five men. Anyway. And this is the overworld map. As you can see, we are uh, in Japan, and I can't figure out where the this is north south. Yeah. Yep, here we go. I, I want to arrange it so it's a, in at least a recognizable state. Um, where was Yamada again now? Okay, there we go. Alright. As you can see, I got my little overworld character here. Um, this is actually a new model. This is not one of the base models I use. Um, the, all the models on the overworld are new, and it looks very, very nice um, compared to usual. Uh, except the, uh, the villages are not new. But the cities are new, the castles are new, the... Um, the the characters and the war parties, like uh, Lord Maeda's party here, are uh, brand new. They all have, a, they all look Japanese, and it's good. I'm going to re-enter the city for a moment because I want to visit the inn. Because uh, in gathering my group, I can find, um, I can find um, companions. The compa companions are essentially immortal. Um, Taikichi the Merchant. Okay. And companions are essentially immortal troops that can join your party. Um, uh, Yoza the Burke mentioned is not one, of course. Gen Rokuro, the Wandering Moso, is not, of course. Gon Maro, the Slave Year, is not. Uh, Hyo Gan uh, Ganosuke here is, though. Um, I can't remember if he's free or not there. Hello there! When I looked at you, I say you're expecting against the fights in the future. Are you by any chance looking for some help? That could be. What's your story? Well, madam, as long as I can remember, I've had a weakness for fighting. It's gotten me into trouble, you see. I grew up in Kisoyu Castle as a bushi, traveling, traveling, tra training alongside my father and brothers. I would amuse myself by hunting mice through the pantries and sculleries. I was so good at it that I put the castle cats out of a job, and eventually the lord realized that I might also be employed to fight for him directly. Needless to say, I found a number of opportunities to avail myself of the heads that have formerly belonged to my lord's enemies. Their family did not appreciate that, and sent men to provoke me into duels. I would accept them, but cut them down away from the appointed dueling grounds. It was quicker and safer, naturally. The trail of dead bodies became too much of a liability for my lord, and he released me from my service. And has since become a free agent, my last job here was in Yamada. Unfortunately, my last employer's wife had a lovely paramour, and I could not resist bringing it upon myself to defend my boss's honor. My boss wouldn't... Uh, she doesn't know his head is missing yet, but she will soon. My boss would, prob would probably not appreciate it anyway, since it would bring him tremendous embarrassment. So tell me, are you looking for helpers? And my peak, what can you do? Well, madam, I let me tell you, I may not be so well versed in poetry, but I know the quickest way to a man's heart is between his third and fourth rib, if you understand me. I can swing swords in addition to stabbing with them, and I'm slippery as quicks Quicksilver. You'll find me useful in the fight fight type warrant. By the way, a lot of this text, except for a couple of mods, is pretty much universal too, so... I'm not gonna re read it for the... I'm not gonna read it in other mods. It sounds like you can do the job, I will hire you. And he wants 200 mon. Um... So right, that's good news, Captain. It's all about paying me a little something to seal our agreement. A mere 200 would be enough. Please don't take this the wrong way, but I have had some bad luck with employers in the past. Can't afford that. Yep, yeah, I have exactly 200. So, no, we're not hiring you yet. He on Hyogus Gonosuke. We're going to get some regular troops. Um, I'm essentially gonna. Um, okay. I'm essentially going to um explain things as they come up. I'm not going to bother explaining all the mechanics now, because that would just get irritating. Um, I'm gonna explain the mechanics as we as they come up. All right. I'm gonna let this opening video run a little long. Um, because I want to get something interesting done besides stabbing a thief in the streets. So we're going to go to the village of Uchi, 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 Uchi,
And we're going to recruit some volunteers, because, as you can see, we have a bunch of uh, options here. We can recruit volunteers and go to the village center. We cannot meet the village... We cannot go to the village headman yet, because we haven't met him yet. We could buy supplies on present peasants. Um, this mod adds some extra features from uh, other little mods, like selling items automatically, buying food automatically. We can also take hostile action, like raiding the village or so forth. We're not going to do that. Um, so we're going to recruit volunteers. Four Oda village recruits. So we're going to recruit all of them, all four of them. Um, we're going to go to the village center, so we can just take a look. Um, there might be... Uh, this looks vanilla, I think. I can't tell. Uh, no, actually, no. These are the uh, these are text these are uh, unique these are textures I think from the uh, from the mods so yeah I think this is I think this is like an altered vanilla village but um and as you can see uh, everyone looks kind of Japanese and you know, everyone's wearing wearing white here so let's see. oh wait wait pink and blue I see pink and blue okay all the white robes are still unsettling them and the villagers aren't particularly interesting you can ask them for little rumors and so forth but they really don't have anything of use for you. And now we've met the headman, and now we can visit him at will. Um, any tasks can help you with? Thank you, ma'am, but there's nothing okay. I'm not gonna bother reading that. Essentially, he's just saying, you know, there's nothing in here right now. Okay, um, we need one more man, I think. Um, so we're going to go to Matsuaka. Um, oh god, looters! Oh, get into Matsuaka! Okay. Good volunteers. We're gonna get three more village recruits. Looters! You're gonna die! <clears throat> okay. I'm, I'm okay. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised the other looters didn't, the other looters didn't join their, uh, didn't join their fellows. Well, no matter to me, I, um, it makes it easier for me, at any rate. Uh... Um, in general, I'm going... Uh, so, here's the battlefield map. Um, uh, music hasn't changed slightly. But here's the battlefield map. Um, as you can see, we have our troops, uh, are their na the names, their unit type, appear... Whenever I look at them, they also have these little, uh, little things here, the little banners here. Uh, and friendly fire is off, because otherwise the AI would kill itself with ranged weapons all the time. Um, looks like a bunch of my guys have rocks. Good. Uh, only two, three of them actually. Uh, there's the looters. And this is into the battle between basic units, uh, myself included. So we're going in. Throw your rocks! Throw! Throw! Make them suffer with rocks to the face! Or miss, repeatedly. Miss. Let's just throw! Oh, just kick. I just inadvertently kick. Ow! Ow! Ah! Help me, guys! I'm doing this single handedly! Thank you. Okay. That's another Tonto, damn it. Oh, gosh! Shut up! No! Ah! Okay, we defeated all the looters. We're good. Now, as you can see, in the middle of combat, um, my proficiency with one-edged weapons increased to 35 over the course of the battle. Um, there's there's some vanilla music right there. Um, don't have any prisoner management skills, so I can't take any prisoners right now. Um, so we're we're gonna do is gonna. Re all right. So here in this um, screen here. You saw on the previous screen, you know, kind of just recounted all the casualties on both sides. In this screen here, essentially, we have a four or five, we have five windows, excuse me. We have the rescued prisoners. If there's a party with prisoners in it, we can rescue prisoners from here. Uh, we can recruit them into our party. If we've, if, if we've knocked enemies unconscious, which we knocked three looters unconscious, we can capture them and bring them into our prisoners tab. Also in this screen, we can also upgrade our troops... Um, we can also upgrade our troops uh, as they gain experience. In base warband, we, we're see, we can see that our troops essentially our troops essentially start out as like beginner type troops, Oda Village recruit here in this instance, and then they kind of branch out. Uh, some mods kind of alter this dynamic, but we'll, I'll get to that when I get to them. Um, so, for example, I can upgrade the village recruit to a spearman or a gunner, and you'll have an archi and the gunner will have an archivist, the spearman obviously has a spear. Um, you know, we'll see more and more troops, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go through that with time. Okay. Sturdy field clothes. Okay, we got a lot of clothes. We got a lot more clothes they possibly could have been holding. Anyway, um... Right. First, I'm going to switch to a comma, because a tanto is too short and can't block. 
Um, the comma is a better weapon, but not the best. We're going to grab some clothes because um, we'll use, because we'll sell these off. We'll, um, we'll also wear some straw sandals now, so that we're not barefoot anymore. Um, we'll get a, grab a couple of these ragged men's clothes, but they're not okay. All right, we'll get some stones too. Um, we'll get the stones for me because I can throw them. Um, something that differentiates actually this um, this um, mod too, of course, that's depicting Japan. So shields, which are usually integral to um, to combat in Mountain Blade, um, you know, are present in Japan, so it cre creates interesting dynamics uh, for fighting. Okay, uh, another village recruit uh, just upgraded because when you finish a your battle, your party gains your party also gains experience and you get your gold. Um, so we're gonna get a gunner. He'll uh, he'll do some long range shooting for us, and uh, now we'll attack you these looters to get some more upgrading done. There's a robbery, eh? I'm giving you one chance to end over everything you got, or I'll kill you. Understand? I'm not afraid of you. Come at me. Okay. We'll charge the enemy. We're outnumbered slightly, but we have superior quality troops. As I'm sure you are aware. I mean, we have a gun, for crying out loud. Oh, and we actually appeared on the same map, because cause, cause we're so close. So close. Maybe you shouldn't shoot that while moving, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Don't shoot. Yes, I'm using kicks. Kicks are an interesting mechanic. Um, kicks are an interesting mechanic, but I'll explain them in it. I'll explain them in the next video because this is starting to drag on, and we'll move on to the merchant's quest in the next video. But first, let's beat these leaders, okay? There's some nice spears you got there. I am not hitting on them. Shut up. Uh, as you can tell, they're also using what is this? The um, I can't remember the name of the mod. That creates these flowers and these trees and so forth. Um, not detailed landscapes, but it's like, but it's like a, it's like a mod that you know creates like really nice like land textures and so forth. So the grasses here and everything, um, you know, increases the grasses and everything. Oh, I have rocks! I have rocks! Ha! No, I missed. Ha! I missed again. Damn it! Put your face in the path of my rocks. Ha! Got you. Ha! Got you. Again, I mean. Oh, got you in the face! Oh, I hit my own man. All right, nice charge. All right. Ah, you can't hit me because I'm side strafing you. Ah, ah, nice try. Okay, hit him. Keep hitting him. Thank you. Where's the last one? Is he running? I think he booked it. Yep. So you got a little mini map here. It's uh, makes very effective for tactics. The last guy just ran off. A little cowardly. Yatch. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna get one more gunner. I'm gonna get one more spearman. I'm gonna check here. Ooh, Arden field clothes. There's even better in my sturdy field clothes. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. I'm gonna grab a few items here. Um, I'm gonna sell them all off in uh, in town. So, ooh, a ragged sugigasa. Oh, we need a hat, so there we go. Hat, 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 hat. And our hair vanishes every time you put on our hat. Okay. Um, all right. And there's, oh, there are the routed enemies. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty cool looking, incidentally. They're going to be trapped there. Routed enemies retreat to whatever, to the nearest town or castle, usually. All right, going to get you another spearman. And I just leveled up, too. So let's handle this real quick. Uh, let's get, bump, 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 bump up our strength real quick. And let's give ourselves a little iron flesh and creep our and creep. Um, I talk good. Um, and increase our survivability a bit. And we're gonna save. And I will catch you next time. Remember to like, to comment, to subscribe, and look forward to a lot more Mountain Blade Warband alongside a lot of the other projects we're doing, like Company of Heroes and uh, whatever else Drake is doing. And um, you know, probably more Third Age Total Wars coming down the pipe from us, uh, me more accurately. Um, I may get back to Space Pirates and Zombies one day, too, so I look forward to that, you know, may see Left for Dead or Payday. You know, we got a lot of things we're doing, you know, we got a lot of things we're planning on doing, and, you know, I'll catch you next time. When we take Japan by storm.